frequency table, and dot plots. In this lesson, we will learn to create a frequency table and a dot plot for a set of data. James asked 15 people how many hours they spent playing outside on Saturday. These are the results from his survey. It helps to have the data values in order from least to greatest when creating a frequency table. A frequency table allows us to display the frequency of a specific response. For example, only one person responded that they spent zero hours outside, so the frequency of the response, zero hours, is one. Two people said they spent one hour outside, so the frequency of the response, one hour, is two. Only one person responded two hours, so the frequency of this response is one. Two people responded three hours, so the frequency of this response is two. Three people responded four hours, so next to four hours in our table, we write the frequency is three. The frequency of the response five is one person. The frequency of the response 6 is 3 people. And finally, the frequency of the response 7 is 2. Now, let's use this frequency table to create a dot plot. A dot plot is a type of graph that allows us to show the frequency of a response using dots. The base of our dot plot will represent the responses given. So we must number the base from 0 to 7 to include all of the responses. Above each value, we will put a dot based on the frequency of that response. Since one person responded 0 hours, above 0 hours, we will put one dot. Two people responded one hour, so we will put two dots above one hour. One person responded two hours, so one dot goes above two hours. Two dots are placed above three hours. Three dots above four hours. One dot above five hours. Three dots above six hours. And finally, two dots above seven hours. Great work! In this lesson, you learned how to create a frequency table and a dot plot to display data.